Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be very important for all the Excel users. In this video, we will discuss 15 Excel shortcut keys. So without delay, let's start. So here I have given the list of all 15 shortcut keys and we will practice all the shortcut keys one by one. So first shortcut key is Control D. So Control D is used for creating a copy or duplicating the value or item. So let's see in this data how we can use that. Here I have a sales table in that we have month sales portion and total sales. Here we have January, February and March. And in the sales portion, we have five sales portion in January, four sales portions in February and three sales portion in March. But here you can see we have multiple blank cells. So if we need to fill all these cells with the above value, so how we can do that? So simply we can select all the cells where we need to fill January here and simply we can press Ctrl D in your keyboard. So you can see it has duplicated the value in all the blank cells. Similarly, you can do with the February and March. Select all the cells, press Ctrl D and for March also you can do the same. Control D. Okay. Now the second example here we can see we have a chart here. So simply what we have to do, we need to select the chart, press Control D in your keyboard. So you can see it has created a duplicate copy of the chart. So I hope you understand how to use the Control D shortcut. Now let's move to second shortcut key. So here we have another sheet for that. So we will go into example two. In this sheet, we will learn all these four keys. Okay. So one by one, we will practice all this. So first key we have control plus shift plus L. So what it will do? So this we will use to add or remove the filter in table. Simply click anywhere in the table and press control shift L from keyboard. So we can see here it has applied a filter on this table. Okay. And if you want to remove the filter, then again, you need to press Ctrl Shift L. Now let's move to third key that is Ctrl plus tilde sign. So what it does basically in this, whenever you want to see what all formulas has been used in the seed, so you can simply press Ctrl and tilde button. Okay. So in the keyboard, you will find tilde sign in left top corner below escape button. Okay. So we need to check the formula here. So we will press Ctrl plus tilde sign. Now you can see here in total sales column and profit column we have used this formula okay so if you want to go back so simply you need to press once again control plus tilde button so it will hide all the formula okay now let's move to next shortcut key control v i believe you know about control v so here what we need to do if you select any area okay and you do a copy and you want to paste so we need to press control v and it will paste the copied data okay so this is very simple to paste the value we use control v now let's move to the next shortcut key that is control alt plus v okay so in that what happened suppose we have used any formula okay and we don't want to paste the formula in that case we use control alt v okay so as you have seen here in total sales and profit column we have used formula okay so if we have to copy this and we have to paste then we will use control alt v so let me do that select all this range press control c to copy this value and here i am going to paste control alt and v so here you will be getting this option paste special simply you need to press down arrow two times and click enter now you can see all the values has been pasted here but in total sales and profit column we see only values okay so there is no any formula attached so i hope you understand how to use control shift l control till control v and control alt v okay now let's move to the next shortcut key so here we have the same table okay in this set we will practice two shortcut keys so this is our shortcut key say control plus shift plus dollar sign so this we use to convert numbers into currency okay so let's see first we will select this column okay and we will press control shift and dollar sign in keyboard so you can see here this has been converted into dollar okay suppose we have to provide rupees sign so what we have to do here we need to change the sign first okay and then we will press control shift dollar sign it will use the currency showing here in this box okay so here we will click on more accounting formats here we'll use rupees sign for this one in the okay and decimal places you can select here so let's say we don't want decimal here just click okay now you can see okay now again we will apply in the profit so here we will select this complete data press control shift and dollar sign so through this way we can apply the currency okay now let's move to shortcut key seven so here we 
have seventh key is control plus shift plus percentage sign okay so how we can use that let's see wherever we will click control plus shift plus percentage sign so whatever the value we will put there that will be automatically converted into percentage so let's suppose we have selected this cell okay after selecting this area we will press control shift and percentage sign in keyboard so here we will put the numbers and it will be automatically converted into percentage okay so suppose here we put 5 10 15 12 30 so it is automatically getting converted into percentage so these are the beneficial shortcut keys whenever you're working with the financial data currencies and you have to calculate percentage and all so you can use this shortcut keys now let's move to the next shortcut key in this excel set we will use two keys shortcut key 8 and shortcut key 9 so first we will use control shift and plus sign okay so first understand when we use so if we select column or row so if we have to enter a column before a column or a row above the row okay so we will use control shift and plus sign okay let's see how suppose we have to add a column before c column price per unit okay so simply we need to select this column by pressing here okay now we need to press control shift and plus in keyboard okay so it will add one column before the selected column okay similarly if you want to add one row above the selected row, so how to do that let's suppose we have selected eighth row okay now we have to add a row above this now simply we have to click control shift and plus so it has been added here now let's move to the next shortcut key f4 okay so here we will be using in the context of previous key that we have used control shift and plus okay so here we have added a row and again if we have to add another row above this so we have to press control shift or plus sign okay but here we can use f4 to repeat this process okay so let's see how to do that just click f4 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 so as per your requirement whatever the rows you want to add you can simply click f4 okay but this is going to repeat the last task only okay if you want to add rows or columns okay now suppose we have to add multiple columns okay so we have selected this first we will press control shift and plus sign so we have added one now we have to click simply f4 just repeat the last process multiple times by pressing f4 so i hope you understand this that how we can simplify our work and we can work faster okay now let's move to the next shortcut key so the next shortcut key is alt plus f1 so why we use alt plus f1 we use to insert charts okay so let's see how to do that suppose we have to insert a chart for this data okay so we have selected this now simply press alt and f1 so you can see here we got the chart okay again if you want to insert another chart simply select the range for which you want to insert the chart okay so i have selected this range again i will press alt f1 so you can see now this is another chart here also if you want to change the chart type simply select the chart click here and accordingly you can select the chart which chart you want okay suppose here if i have selected for uh, quantity that is pie chart okay this will click here and it will be converted into right you can see here okay this is the simplest way to insert a chart for the selected range now let's move to the next shortcut key so here we have shortcut key 11 that is control plus enter okay so we have the sales table here in this we have month quantity price per unit and we have to find out total sales and profit okay so how to use the shortcut key to perform this task faster okay so first i'm going to use control plus enter so what i will do i will select all the cells okay here i will write a formula that is is equal to we have to find out total sales so we will multiply total quantity into price per unit okay so here we will use the key control plus enter so just press control enter and it will automatically calculate for all the selected range and it will fill the data here the same way we will do for calculating the profit so let's see we got the profit that is 16 percent okay so what we will do first we will select this range we will press equal to and then we have to calculate 16 percent of total sales so we will select total sales into 16 either you can put here percentage sign or you can simply divide this by 100 okay so i'm using percent sign here to calculate the percent okay now you need to click control enter so you can see all calculation has been filled here okay now let's move to the next shortcut key that is alt plus equal to so alt plus equal to we use for doing sum. okay let's see so we will use in two ways okay first we will calculate sum of total cells okay so simply select the cell here and we will press alt plus equal to sign so this will show the range if you are satisfied with the selected range 
okay you can simply click enter so it will do the sum here okay another way if we select all this profit okay and simply we will click curled is equal to so this will automatically do the sum of all the profits and it will put here in the bottom of the data so i believe these shortcut keys are easy to understand and easy to use okay now without delay let's move to the next shortcut key so here the next shortcut key is control plus shift plus down up right left arrow, whatever you want to use. okay so this we use to select the range of cells okay let's see how so first you can select any one of the cell okay let's see i have selected me here in the data okay now if we use control shift and down arrow so it will select starting from may to december okay let's see how just select may press control shift and down arrow so it will automatically select this range okay now if we use up arrow in that case it will select till here starting month okay let's see control shift and up arrow okay the same way if we press right arrow in that case it will select this range okay control save and right arrow so this will select this if we use left arrow so here from me there is no data in left so it will not move there so let's see if we select this cell c6 okay now we will press control save and left arrow so it will go up to may but if you want to select particular range in that case we can use multiple arrows okay by pressing control shift suppose we have to select this complete data so simply select may now press control shift right arrow and then down arrow so it will select this complete range or even you can do control shift down arrow and then right arrow okay so i hope uh, you can use as per your convenience like whatever the data range or data you have to select you can accordingly use down up right and left arrow okay now let's move to the next shortcut key that is control a so control a is widely used okay whenever you want to select the complete data so simply you need to click anywhere in this data range okay anywhere you can select any one cell and then simply press control a so it will select all the data in that particular range or in that particular area okay so this is very simple okay mostly we use control a now now, let's move to the next shortcut key that is key 15 shift plus space and control plus space okay suppose we have to select single row or multiple rows so either we can select from here but how we can do from shortcut key so by pressing shift plus space we can select the rows as well okay let's suppose we have to select this june so you can put mouse anywhere in the same row and press shift and space button in the keyboard so it will select the complete row and if we have to select multiple rows suppose these three rows i want to select so select three rows now you can press shift and space so it will select all these three rows so same way you can use control space to select the column let's see i have to select column d so you can select any one cell in the d column and press control and space button in the keyboard so it will select the column the same way if you want to select multiple columns so you can simply select this three columns and press control paste so it will select all the three columns so this is very simple so all these 15 shortcut keys are very very important in your daily work and i hope i have explained all the shortcut keys in very simple way that you can implement you can use in your daily work and you can improve your productivity finally i will give you bonus trick to copy the data so let's see how to do that now we have this data one table here we have and one chart we have okay so let's see how to do that let's suppose we have to copy certain data from this table okay suppose we need data that is month column till july and we need quantity column price per unit and totals that's it i need all this so we have to copy so simply what we can do we can copy and paste by pressing ctrl c and ctrl v or you can just simply press ctrl and move your mouse any edge of the selected range okay and just click mouse here and drag it and you can put here and just leave the mouse you can see it has created a copy of that for the selected range only also if you need data from august december we need all the data here select this range press control move your mouse here click and drag it while dragging this okay you have to press the control key you no need to leave the control key and just leave here you can see it has created a copy. the same way if you have any other item like here i have one chart if i want to copy this so simply press ctrl come here in the edge of this chart click here and drag it so it has created a copy of this now another example suppose we have a shape here i have created a shape okay this shape we have simply if we have to create a copy of this press ctrl here in the edge if you come you can see here cursor sign has changed simply you have to click and create a copy again if you want to do that you can create a copy of this so this is the trick that you can use during your work in this video i have tried to explain all the shortcut key in a very simple way so you can use it in your work and if this video is informative for you so you can like this video you can share you can subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get all the upcoming videos notification thank you for watching have a good day